All right, so let's keep this moving. And now we are on the third sign he's loyal to you. And that is he is reliable and there for you. All right. So the unfortunate reality is that so many women deal with men they can't count on. All right. When you need him, he's not there for you. And, and this is even more of a glaring issue. It's, it's a problem regardless, but it's even more of a glaring issue when you can honestly say you are reliable to him. You are there for him. So when you are pouring into this man in that way, but he cannot match your energy, he cannot give you the same in return, that is a problem. But again, we're focusing on what makes him loyal and, and the fact that he is reliable, the fact that he is there for you when you call on him. And of course, listen, some men have more availability than others. That's just the reality of life. If you're dealing with a very, and let me be honest, there might be some slight bias, slight bias right now, but when you're dealing with a successful man who may be an entrepreneur, just someone who has a lot going on for themselves, there's going to be a little bit less availability, all right? It doesn't mean they will become unreliable, so I'm not making an excuse for that because even in my busyness, I think I can say with confidence I'm a reliable person and I'm there for a lot of people when needed. But it is not as easy for a man such as myself as it might be for the next guy. But what you will see, regardless of whether he's a very busy, successful man or he's a man that doesn't have much going on. And when I say not much going on, let me just say, maybe he has a regular nine to five and that's it. He has a lot more hours available. So he still has something going on, but he's just not as busy, right? The common denominator in the loyal man is he makes an effort, all right? He tries. And, and when he says he's going to do something, he does it. That's the big thing, all right? He sticks by his word. Again, he shows up when he says he's going to show up. And if he isn't able to show up, he takes accountability for it. He may try to make up for it. He shows you that this is a mistake rather than uh, a common or a consistent issue that's going to be present in this relationship, all right? And he shows you that he cares enough to want to correct it when that mistake is made. But that's what's very important. It's really paying attention to his reliability. And so now another thing hit in my spirit is for many of you, the struggle is you walk so much in your independence that you don't create the opportunity to see how reliable this man really is, all right? So if you become too accustomed to doing everything yourself and you've taken, this may sound weird, but let's work with me here, taking too much pride, Yes, too much pride in doing everything yourself because that's not, you should not be doing everything yourself in a relationship. If you're going to have to do that, what the hell's the point of a relationship? I digress. Let me continue. When you are, again, so consumed by your independence, you now rob, rob the relationship and rob this man of the opportunity to show you can he show up when needed, all right? Because you are too damn quick to handle it yourself. You are too damn quick to say, well, I don't want to ask him. I don't want to bother him. I don't want to seem needy. Listen, I'm not saying go beg this man to go do this and that for you. I'm not saying you have to force yourself to be a damsel in distress. But I am saying is let the man uh, contribute in this relationship. Let the man show you that he can pour into you. And, and I, I don't want you to do this in a I'm a test him kind of way. I want you to learn how to be comfortable in, and this might be a weird word to use in relationships, but comfortable with delegation or comfortable with allowing someone to do for you. So again, it's kind of like even me as a business owner, I have to be mindful of not jumping to do it myself and say, no, I have employees. Let me call them and allow them to do. This is where they're, this is what they were hired for. This is where they're strong at, so on and so forth. So if you have a man and you know that maybe, for example, let's say he knows cars. He's very good with cars. Something goes wrong with your car. That's a perfect time to hit him up and be like, hey, can you help me with this? Like that, that's not the time for you to go do it yourself. That's not the time for you to go to the mechanic yourself. You got a man who likes cars, who knows cars. Use that to your advantage. Oh, you know, and, and trust and believe if that man cares about you, if that man is loyal to you, 
He will pride himself in that moment of showing you that he can handle it for you. Because that's the other thing about it. The man who's loyal to you wants to show you how much he cares. Wants to show you he got you. So let him show you. Give him that opportunity. So be mindful of not being so independent that you don't allow yourself to, to see what this man truly brings to the table and if he can be counted on at times that you need him. And I'm going to say one more point before I move, to, one more thing before I move to the next point. You don't want to make him comfortable with you doing everything. So here's one more thing that I've noticed in a lot of relationships. Some women are with men. The same man that they complain doesn't do for them is the same man doing everything for the next woman. And, and sometimes, yes, there's various reasons why that can happen. But one of the reasons is because you never required that of him. You, you made him comfortable to, I got it. I'll take care of it. To where he doesn't even ask no more. It's almost like, like if a guy asks you to carry your grocery bags in the house and you constantly say, I got it, I got it. At some point, the man will stop to ask. He'll stop asking because he's gotten accustomed to you saying, you got it. He won't even bother. All right? If you, if you play that game or if you allow yourself to fall into that trap, you can condition him to thinking that you always got it. And then when you finally bring it up, he'll say like, damn, I thought you were good. I thought you were okay. And he's, he's genuinely saying that. Like, he's not trying to play a game right now. He's really saying, yo, you always sound like you got it all, you got it all taken care of. And, and this doesn't just play out with uh, romantic relationships. There are family and friends who, who are never showing up for you, at least what you've experienced, they haven't shown up for you, not because they're not willing or capable, but because you always act like you got it all together, that you can take care of it, that, that you're fine as you are. You got to be careful with that. We have to be more vulnerable in, in showing when we need help, in allowing people to point into us and do for us in every way. But specifically when we're talking about romantic relationships, you don't want to condition him to thinking he does not have to do anything for you. He is loyal in other areas of his life. So what you commonly see with people is that loyal people seem to be consistently loyal. That's just, again, it's like in their DNA. It's who they are. They, they, they're, it's just what they do, whether that be with who they go to, to to do their hair, whether it be who they go to for business, friends, you're going to start to notice loyalty in other aspects of their life. And so you're going to notice that these people have longer lasting relationships, longer lasting friendships, longer lasting business or relationships. Hell, these people are the type of people who will have the same phone provider for the last 15 years. Like they're just loyal. It's just who they are. They don't like change like that. They don't like switching up. They like to find where they, what they like and, and make peace with it and move from there. So when you are evaluating, if this is a loyal guy, evaluate the other relationships in his life. Now, of course, that's going to take time for you to get uh, a greater picture of what's going on there. But the easiest way to get at least a snapshot is ask about the friendships. So how long have you been friends with your, your guy friends? All right and possibly women friends, <laughs> okay? But well, how long have you had those relationships? Um, shoot, even at the jobs he works at, again, the guy who's working 10, 15 years at a job, and, and not saying every situation that someone does this is automatic, they're just loyal hands down. And, and I'm gonna make a point at the very end of this video because I already know what some of y'all are thinking. But again, these are good signs, and these typically play into this individual being a loyal man all around. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. So now on to number six, and that is he's very chivalrous with you. All right. So chivalry, just in case some of you may not completely understand what chivalry is, because in today's